Hey guys, welcome to the August 2025 recap of all the features that we put out this month. I'm Justin, the founder of Merchant, and I'm so excited to show you what our team has been hard at work creating for you so that you can rank Google Business Profiles higher in local search results. All right, let's just get started and be sure to watch until the end because I do sprinkle some of my favorite new features later in this video. As always, if you have any questions, please put them below or like the video. All right, let's hop into it. So the first thing that I want to show you is a new style for the review request link. If you head over to reviews and then you open your review request link, which looks like this, you might currently have the emoji style. Well, now if you click this button here, you can see there are different options under style and settings. So you can switch to a thumbs up, thumbs down, as well as a star layout. So if you prefer that it looks different, then just go ahead, go to reviews and then change it to whichever style you prefer. Sticking with the review tool for a second, we've updated the AI to do a better job at writing the suggested reviews. And in case you missed it, Almost every month for the past year, we found that the keywords in reviews are extremely important, which is why we really encourage our users to keep the suggested reviews features on. And well, now if you click on these, you can see that uh, Page is writing a more unique set of reviews depending on what you um, click on. So if you didn't love the style before that Page was writing in, then give it another try, see how it looks. Um, and we're going to keep doing more and more work on this to keep adding more variety and making the review sound more and more authentic because these really do help you rank quickly. Okay, the next thing that we're going to talk about is a very popular request uh, where you can customize the learn more button on posts. So before we were automatically um, just sending people to the uh, website that was on the Google business profile on that learn more button. Well, now under automation, automate posting, you can see here that if you do have the learn more button enabled for your posts, then you can then select the exact URL that you want that button going to. So if you're writing different posts for different products and services, and you want those to link to those areas on the website, then you can go ahead and set those here. Okay, so another feature that we got a lot of requests for was the ability to see the suggested keywords on the uh, uh, on the business details tab. So here, if we say add keywords, you can see that um, the page has some suggested keywords along with the average search volume in your area. So the area that people are typically um, would typically consider going to your business from, uh, and then the difficulty of ranking for these. Um, and they're in order of the highest search volume to the lowest, but unfortunately um, your existing keywords are going to show uh, unknown for now. Okay, now it's time to show you a feature that we've been working on for a long time that I'm really happy about, and it's called What's New. And the reason that we wanted to build this feature, even though it's going to take a lot of time, is because the more organic and specific to your business that you can write content, the more likely it is that Google will weigh it favorably and get it in front of more people, which means getting your business in front of more people because it doesn't just look like generic AI content. So in this what's new feature, I'll show you how Page can ask you or your client on a regular basis what's new at your business so that you can give it something topical and then it'll go and write the content. All right, so you'll find this new setting under automation, then account manager. We put it in the top spot because we think it is that important for you to use. If you haven't set it up yet, then it's off by default. So just come in here and select this box and then say how often you want Paige to ask you for, uh, for new updates. I'm going to set it to every one day, but probably every seven to 20 days is sufficient. Next, it's going to ask, who should I ask? So you can have it go to yourself or to someone on your team or a client, just put in that email address here or put in multiple people so that multiple people can provide an update. And then you can say who should receive a copy of the response. So now let's walk through the entire process. The first thing that's gonna happen is that whoever you designate will get an email that looks like this. It's going to say, hi, client name, is there anything new at your business I can post about? Click the button below. When you click the button, it loads up a screen like this that asks for details about what's new and it gives them some ideas. So maybe new business hours or new product or service, there's an upcoming event, new promotion, new partnership, or something else. 
And all you have to do is type in just generally what it is. So in this example, I'm going to say that we are now open on weekends. The next thing that we do is we have page create a post specific about what update was just provided. And then we send it to the admin on the page account just to be aware of what happened and also approve it. So uh, this is what it looks like on the admin side. They're going to get an email that says, hi, their name. The business just gave an update. They said there was an update for business hours. We're now open on weekends. And please review the content that I wrote so that I can publish it ASAP. When they click this button, it's going to bring them to a screen that shows the content that it created by going and trying to find the most um, similar image that was already uploaded to page that might match this. Um, and then it'll write a post talking about, hey, guess what? We're now open on weekends, blah, blah, blah. And so it'll go ahead and write something that's about the update. And then when you approve it, it goes out, um, it goes out almost immediately. So now if you're an agency, uh, a client can give you some news, you'll find out about it and then publish it within minutes. And if you're a business and something comes to mind and you want to uh, get it out onto your Google profile or Facebook or Instagram or wherever, um, then you just answer the question when page emails you and then uh, review the content and let it go out. And we're really excited about this because it's such a unique feature that'll make it seem as though you're actually writing the content because AI can't make up these things, um, but you don't have to do any of the hard work to actually do it. Okay, let's keep going. And those are the big updates that we've put out that are going to be um, business owner specific. So if you're a business owner uh, and you've watched this, thank you. Uh, you might want to hop off the video now just because we're going to now talk about some of the agency specific features. Um, and again, if you like the video, you found this helpful, then please hit the like button. And I'll also put a link to our feature request video in the description below so that you can request the features that you want the most or vote on ones that were already requested. Okay, let's hop into the agency specific updates. The first thing that I want to bring up is that we put out a webhook option for the GBP audit tool so that now when a lead of yours does an audit from your website, um, their details will get sent to that webhook so that you can pipe it into your CRM or your mailing system, whatever it is that you want to happen next as soon as you get a lead so that those two systems are more integrated. Uh, we previously had a Zapier integration, but for those of you that want a little more customization, you can now use that webhook. You can find that by going to settings and then integrations. It's right here. And the next thing is something that many of you have asked me for many times over the last few years. It is the ability to do a one-off optimization without having to subscribe a client for the full service. So maybe you're talking to a lead of yours and you want to give them an initial optimization or set of content to show them the quality of work or the tools that Page can give them. Well, that's now possible. So let me show you how it works. Click over to businesses and then add a business and then pick the business that you want to offer this to. Next, you're going to see in the dropdown something called a three-day optimization. Go ahead and say proceed. These three-day optimizations are priced at $15 for those three days. And the way it works is just like any other subscription, but instead of it um, going for 30 days and then renewing, it basically goes for three days and then it just cuts off. And so that should give you enough time to put out one of every type of content and do the cleanup of their profile without having to start an entirely new subscription for this business. And then once you pay, it'll bring you through the same optimization flow that it would if you were signing up a new client on the full page product. But again, it'll just cancel after three days. Now, there's one thing that I want to leave you with, which is a really cool feature that's going to be coming out uh, in the next couple of days that sadly couldn't make it for this update video. So I'm just going to give you a quick teaser real fast. If I click over to reports, you can see there's now some information about the things that you should do to rank higher on the report itself as well as information about the lifetime leads that Page has gotten you, along with the estimated value in new revenue that those leads could have created, as well as information about your top competitor and the amount of revenue that they're getting from the increase of leads that they get because of their better ranking. I can't wait for you to see this feature next month. Thanks again for watching and for, of course, being a Page partner. Have a great day.